And we talked about this on my platform multiple times. Kyrie Irving doesn't want to talk to the media. He feels like the media is just not fair to him, and they're uh, taking his words and doing things with him that he doesn't like. So this all started when Kyrie Irving did not talk to the media on media day, and he put out this statement pretty much saying, yo, I'm going to control my own narrative. I'm going to put my own messages out. Well, after that, Kyrie's team tried to clean it up and say, you know, Kyrie's going to talk to the media just kind of when he wants to, right? Alluding to he ain't going to be an, an everyday available for the media type of guy, which, again, that's part of your contract to talk to the media. Uh, from there, the, the NBA, they find Kyrie Irving because he went on to miss a couple more days of media sessions, by the way, uh, after missing media day. Look, this is Kyrie for you. We talked about it already. I've already ranted enough about it. I don't want to rant today. I will say this, though, really quickly. Kyrie Irving's favorite player is Kobe. He obviously got to work with Kobe earlier in his career. And, you know, to me, like Kyrie saying he's a Kobe guy, to me, it's, it's so disrespectful to the, to the late, great Kobe, my favorite athlete of all time, my, one of my favorite people of all time. It's so disrespectful because Kobe would never do that. How do you claim to be this big Kobe guy? Kobe would never do that. Mike would never do that. You know, Mike would never do that. We, if you watched the Last Dance documentary, I'm sure you did. We see, even at Mike's worst, I'm talking about real stuff going on in his life, not mad at the media because he said the earth is flat, right? When Mike's father had passed, you know, Mike was still getting up to that podium, doing what he had to do, and then when he couldn't do it anymore, he walked away from the game. He walked away, and the gambling rumors and all that mess got to the floor, but he walked away. But when he came back, he didn't take it out on the media. He was asked questions during the 98 season over and over again about would he really leave the Bulls for real? And what did Mike do? He answered the questions, even though that they were ridiculous sometimes. And, and I'm not taking up for every media member. I, that ain't me. I've met some bad media some people that I look at as bad media members, but they're bad doctors. They're, they're bad nurses. They're bad teachers. They're bad. They're bad of everything. You don't get the pick because so they're a bad in, in a field. I don't want to fool with them at all. When you work with that field, the media's job is to help promote this game. The game is not in the greatest of places. The NBA in a bad space? No. They've been, it's been on the back of LeBron James for the last decade. I wouldn't say the NBA's in a bad space, but you want to continue to grow the game past LeBron. Could you imagine what happened if LeBron retired tomorrow? Ratings would drop at least by 50%. At least by 50%. I'm serious about that. Like, so for Kyrie to think that the NBA is in this great place where he doesn't have to grow the game anymore is selfish. And a guy that's a Kobe guy, he, he Kobe would have, man, if Kobe were here, Kobe would not have agreed with that decision. And he would have told Kyrie about that. But I'm running again. So I want to give you guys a quote from Kyrie Irving's Instagram account after he got fined. And again, continues to not talk to the media. This is what Kyrie Irving said. He flat foot said, I've had enough of someone else's propaganda. I'm for truth no matter who tells it. I'm for justice no matter who's with it or against it. I'm a human being first and foremost, and as such, I am whoever uh, and whatever benefits human as a whole. I pray we utilize fine money for the marginalized community in need, especially seeing uh, where our world is presently. I am here for peace, love, and greatness, so stop distracting me and my team and appreciate the art. We move different over here. I do not talk to pawns. My attention is worth more. So he said he doesn't talk to pawns. He's calling the media members pawns. He says, you know, his attention is worth more. Yeah, all this fake wokeness is, is, is pissing me off. You're not woke, Kyrie. You're not woke. There are real people who on the front lines of real movements, and Kyrie Irving is not one of them. He can fake it all he wants. He can try to tell you. And, and I think Kyrie's, what he's doing in regards to giving to the community, and, and the WNBA, I don't want to sleep on that. I hate that he's putting me in this position, right? Because the brother is doing some good out there. I just saw him d donating some money and some time last week. He does that for real in his community, right? But just because you're good at one thing, that does not, that does not remove you from criticism or critique when you're doing something what I deem disrespectful and another thing. You just called the media pawn, bro. People that's been covering you from high school, like, no disrespect. Your game is your game. You are incredible. I say you're the best finisher in the NBA, maybe the clutchest guy in the NBA, still to this day. But, like, when you were in high school, it was media, local media members that helped put your, your game on the map, that helped get you recruited. 
by guys like Coach K at Duke. When you were early in your career, when your team was awful, I mean, piss poor awful. I'm sure there are a lot of local media outlets that wish they were somewhere else. They had to cover your bad team and, and how you weren't helping them guys out and how y'all kept getting top three picks. Like the, People got jobs, bro, and you're, you're not hurting national media. They're going to still get their quotes from you if you do it on a podcast or wherever. One way or the other, they're going to get theirs. Who you're hurting the most is those local outlets, those beat writers that really got your best interest at heart. You're pissing them off. So if you think your narrative ain't been controlled as of yet, piss off some of them beat writers if you want to, man. I'm not, I'm not for any malicious things or attacks towards Kyrie, but what you're putting people in positions to have to do is speak for you. And that kind of goes against what Kyrie Irving is saying. And I'll end my video with this comment. What Kyrie Irving is really trying to do, the real behind this is Kyrie Irving is afraid of his own voice. That is the truth. He's afraid when he gets to that microphone, he's going to say something stupid. Is it for the better of the Brooklyn Nets team for Kyrie Irving to not speak to the media? It absolutely is. It's better for the Nets for Kyrie to shut up. Because it seems like every time he talks, something stupid comes out of it. More times than not. And I think the Nets would prefer him to just hush it, right? And let his game do the talking. Is it for the better of the league, though, for Kyrie Irving not to speak? Absolutely not. You got a big brand at Nike. You got fans that want to hear you. They want to hear your voice, man. They want to hear your voice, win or lose. You are teaching people, like, there are kids out there that want to see how Kyrie Irving not only responds to a win, but they want to see how Kyrie Irving responds to a loss. They want to see that he's going to keep going. They want to feel good about backing you, paying $150, $200, $500 to go see you play, my brother. You got to talk to the media. If you don't, you're going to get fined every day. And them fines are going to go from 25 k to 50 k to 100 k to 200 k And it will get to a point where Brooklyn tells Kyrie, all right, bro, you got to talk, man. The fines are too heavy. You just can't keep not talking to the media. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this one in the comment box below. I'm out.